new viewers. This is Fogan TV, where you will enjoy God in His fullness through Christian films, edifying messages, soul lifting songs, books, and lots more. Kindly click on the subscription button and press the notification bell. You will be notified on every update. Thanks and God bless. blessed by the message we've had today. Give the Lord a shout. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. God bless you real good. Before we close the service, there is an important information I need to bring to your notice. One of our mission field last week during the crusade 92 people, including the head of the village, gave their life to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That is to show the Lord conquering land for himself. And that brings us to about eight villages that the Lord has conquered for himself through his church, you and I, this year. But brethren, the end of one work we're doing for God marks the beginning of another. What does that mean? We can't leave this soul that the Lord has won to himself, languishing and wasting away, lest they go back into the world. What does that mean? It means we need to put up a temporary structure that will be befitting as a worship center in all these eight villages. We will need three million naira, three million naira to execute this project and put up a good structure in all these villages. And the Lord is counting on you and is counting on me. So brethren, I want you to go as we close this service. You go home, deliberating in your heart, seeking the Lord's face, how the Lord will want you to contribute to this world. So brethren, we bring the service to a close. Let's rise to share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit rest in the Bible. Father, perfect your daughter's testimony. Amen. Let the miracle be speedy. Amen. Glorify your name in our family. Amen. And let's have reasons to give you thanks. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, ma. God bless you, my sister. All right? As things are unfolding, make sure you carry my wife along and let her know anything you want me to know. All right? The Lord will bless you. Have a glorious week. Eh? Ah, bro, Wale. How are you, sir? God bless you. Sister? Thank you. God bless you. How was today's service? Bless God. You were blessed. Great, as usual. I'm happy to hear that. We bless God. We actually came to see you, Pastor, in respect of the announcement you make 
uh, made us we're about to close the service today. Yeah. That's um, as touching the Abere, the oh, mission Abere Dinga village mission. Yes, yes, ah. yes. yes. Actually, my wife and I put heads together, and we just feel we could be vessels in God's hands yes. to provide for the three million naira. And so, by the grace of God, between this evening and tomorrow morning, hey. you will have the three million naira for hey. the Hey, yes, sir. Jesus, Lord, 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 this is wonderful. The Lord will bless you, bro. Amen, amen. Ah, my sister, the Lord will bless you. Amen, ah, you, you, you delighted my heart Pastor, this morning. Pastor, ah. we thank God, sir. Mm. But since we can't go to the mission field, mm. we are not commissioned to go to mm. the mission field, we just resolve in helping those who are there. That is very yeah. good. Yes. Because if we can't go, then we should give. We should yes, give. That is what will make uh, the, the missionaries to live in good condition. Yes, right. And the Lord will bless you. Amen. amen. Um, Father, in Jesus' name, Amen. your children have honored you. They have blessed you with their resources. My God, please bless them in return. Every miracle they desire, Baba, please. It is good that these people are willing to spend for the gospel. What about their own souls? You've always expressed worry and concern about this. And really, I don't know why. I, I, I can't get it. I don't understand. These people are members of the church. They I attend services regularly and all that. Dear, Agnes and I are co-workers. And I know the kind of life she lives in the office. Oftentimes, she let out an information about her husband. And such information hardly befits a good child of God. These people still believe that it is not bad to drink alcohol. They still go to white parties, they drink, you know, claiming that little alcohol is not bad. Recently, Agnes picked up a fight with another member of staff. Come and see her disposition. It was horrible. The words that was coming out of her mouth should not be heard from a redeemed child of God. Oh dear. There are a lot of things that we have not known about these people yet. And if they are spending for the gospel like that, we should be concerned about their own souls too. Evidently, the gospel they claim to sponsor has not done them any good yet.
The first eight years, there was nothing, not even a single pregnancy. Hmm. There was nothing we did not do, but all to no avail. It was indeed a year of our struggling. We were struggling both financially and in childbearing. Oh, how I suffered in the hands of doctors. We spent so much on tests within and outside this country. At some point, we were wondering if we were not being used for research. I can't tell you the number of traditional priests and prophets we visited. We prayed and offered sacrifices, but all to no avail. In fact, there was a time I visited a prophet and I had to bathe in a river in the presence of that prophet. experience for me. Very humiliating. Mm. Honestly, in the ninth year, it was as if God remembered us and smiled on us. Wale got a very big contract and his words, you know, progressed. I became pregnant. But our joy was short lived. I lost the pregnancy. So, 
worry. It's alright. Please don't cry. Please. You see, I read in the Bible about a woman who had a similarly harrowing experience once. She wouldn't stop bleeding despite what she has spent to secure a cure. But one day, she decided to reach out to Jesus, the holy hope left for her. By the time she touched the hem of his garments, her long-standing problem had become history. You see, Jesus wants to help you too. Please. Give your heart to Jesus. Excuse me. It's so obvious you weren't listening to me. I just told you how many prophets I've visited. How they prayed and prophesied and took her money and nothing happened. So you are now here telling me uh, this and that. What? Ah, are, are we not Christians? Aren't we members of the same church? Are we not committed to God? But you still try other goals for help. You just said it yourself. You see, going to church or even praying is not an evidence that you belong to God. That is why the Bible says in Luke chapter 13, 26 to 27, Jesus says, so we come claim to know you, but he will tell them, Depart from me, you workers of iniquities. I know you not. Think of the problem you're facing now. You can compare it to the unrepentant sinner will face when they get to hell. This hell is not for you. Please give your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. I beg you, please, all this problem will be solved and you will have peace. interested in this relationship. Let him go. Let him go. Definitely he's not your husband. And he did this for his own loss. My dear, you are not bad. Eh? You are not bad. Another man will soon come your way. Another man. Mommy, another man. Jaya is the fifth man that has come into my life and left just like others did. What have I done? What is wrong with me? <laughs> Mommy, why is my life like this? <laughs> you laugh. Eh? Nothing is wrong with you. <laughs> you laugh. Mommy, nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong. I graduated from the university eight years ago, mom, with first class. Yet I have no job. I'm well above 30, yet no husband. For how long will I continue to wait for things to change? <laughs> Your life, that's all right. That's okay, my dear. Eh? <coughs> Thank God, I am a blessed woman. Oh, mommy. No, your father is no more. But we are, we are living lightly. We lack nothing. Eh? My dear, I'm here for you. 
That's just it. Mommy, that is just it. For how long will you continue to be there for me? You will one day grow old and live like every man wants. What then becomes of me? If you are here for me financially and materially now, what about as a husband? Aren't you bothered about your grandchildren? Aren't you concerned about the hopelessness of your only child? I came by office a few hours ago and I discovered you were discussing with and so I said, uh, Mama Gio. Oh, where, where, where? I wasn't his dropping. But I heard her telling you that she give Jesus a trial. Actually, it's good. But you know, you're a nice woman. You're a woman anybody in this office who wants for a colleague. So, every one of us in this office, share your pains. Thank you. You're welcome. That's not enough. I know of a prophet who can be of help. No. No. I've had enough of them. See, it's not enough for you to give up like that. Your situation is too serious. They're for you to give up easily. Hey. Hmm. Let me tell you something. Women age quicker than men. Besides, in this our society, men know how to find alternative to an unproductive marriage. Oh. But all these prophets are fake. They all use helpless people to achieve their selfish goals. That is it. For anything to be called fake, that means there is an original somewhere. Hmm. I'm not talking about just any prophet here. Hmm. I'm talking about a fiery Pentecostal prophet. Oh, lema ba 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 lebo sokori anaba shenaba kai. Oh my God. See, Agnes. Please, just give this man a try. Oh my God. Are you weak? Oh, he was. Sir, this is how it has been with me for years. I've tried all things humanly possible, but all to no avail. I'm see, I'm fed up. I don't know what to do again. It is well. It is well with you. Amen. My sister, don't cry again. Stop worrying yourself. God will certainly do it for you again. Amen. My God will certainly do it for you again. My God will certainly visit you again. You see, enemies do not want man to rejoice. Enemies do not want man to have happy, happy, happiness in life. Well, relax. God will visit you again. Let us pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jare. The woman before you must never be afraid. She's a tomb belonging to one of our own. 
just tell her anything. I collect whatever you want from her. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This is right. I'm sure you are surprised that I did not even pray for long. It's because my God has been so gracious to you. Amen. He has revealed the secrets of your problem. My God told me that you have prayed enough and it is time for you to reap the harvest of your prayers. So you don't have to worry yourself. <laughs> yeah, there is an instruction for you that you need to act on immediately. Did you hear that? There is an instruction for you that you need to act on immediately. Your brother is still alive? Yes, sir. She's alive. That's okay. Henceforth, you must start avoiding her. Huh? Yes. See, she is the reason behind all your predicaments. Yes. Jesus. God. Yeah. <laughs> you will certainly get pregnant again. You must never see her again until you are delivered of the baby. Did you hear that? You must never see her again until you are delivered of the baby. That is the simple instruction for you to obey. It is well with you. Go and make impact. Um, uh, Anike, you will tell your friend or your sister to be part of our project. I expect a contribution via a lot as soon as possible. Yola. Where are you going? Eh? You did not even tell me that you are going out of this house. I'm sorry, Mom. I have been in this house for the past few days. I needed to take a walk. Mm. I understand. Um, Onome? Yes, ma'am. Give me my bag. Take this. I should get something for you. No, it's for you. Mommy, I'm going for a walk. I don't need money. My dear, you don't know how happy I am to see that golden smile on your face. Eh? I just want you to be happy. I want you to be happy, my dear. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. I know you are a good mother. Mm. I know you care. Thank you, ma. Let me quickly go. Thank you, Major. All right, ma. Don't keep it too. Much.
you have done well. <clears throat> now, your power for wealth is renewed. But remember, she must never get married. She cannot succeed in all areas of her life until you die or you no longer need weights. Adesh, please listen to me, listen to me. I can get your argument. But anything less than 50 M, I'm not taking it. Please. You know how this thing goes. No 50 he M or nothing. He has done it for us. He oh, no. has done it for Please us. Please hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll call you back. Just a minute. <sighs> What's the excitement about now? Why, why these smiles? Check it out. What is this? What is Just this? check it. You just got an appointment or something? Go ahead and check it. Okay. What? Are you serious? Oh, yes. You mean you're pregnant and it's two months already? Oh, yes. Wow, this calls <laughs> for celebration. Come and join us in Hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done us well. Come and join us. Come and join us in Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My darling wife is pregnant here. My master. <laughs> oh. Come inside. Biola, come. Let's talk. Ah ah. Biola, how are you? I'm fine. What are you doing now? I've come to check somebody you here. I'm just taking a stroll. I don't know you come off from my room. Ah ah. Biola, so how are you now? I'm fine. This is your face. Ah, yes, sir. After eight good years. Who would have imagined that for eight years I will not set my eyes on you? <laughs> Until such is life, or oh. and now I think we do. Everything is fine. Your friends, your children, and their dad. Oh. Auntie, husband, children, oh. their dad. Oh. 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 Auntie, I'm still his friend. Life hasn't really smiled on me as it did my friend. What do you mean? I have no husband, no child, and I didn't even have a job. Are you serious? No. My life has just been one blank piece of paper. Sorry <sighs> about that. Well, back in school, you, you were very beautiful, intelligent, and um, you have a very rich mom. And I've been watching you amongst your friends, you are the best. <sighs> See, that's all history now. Mm -hmm. All those things have gotten me no way. I seriously wish I'd just sleep one day and not wake up. No. Cousin, I'm tired. No. That will not happen to you in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. So, what is your status now with Jesus? Auntie. You know, back in school. You will tell me that you don't need Jesus because you are you you are brilliant, 
you are beautiful, you have a rich mom. But all those ones, they are not getting you anywhere now. Oh, auntie, don't bring that now. Is that what we're saying? What's the relationship between, you know, I, I'm telling you something you are asking me about. Auntie, don't bring that now, please. Biola. Sincerely, you need Jesus to come to him. He knows you. He made you. He's the potter. He wants to remold your life. Hebrews 3.15 says, Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in the days of provocation. Despite all these qualities that you possess, and these things are like this, what do you think of eternity? How will you get headway? Seriously, you need to come to Jesus Christ. Only a life that is secured in Jesus Christ enjoys divine security. You need Jesus Christ. You need to give your life to Jesus Christ, Biola. And that is the only solution. It is high time you come to Jesus. My people, I want you to rise to your feet now as we pray. Let's rise up. Let's rise up. Can a man continue in the wrong direction and expect to end at the right destination? It will not happen. The blood has been shed for you. Why are you aspiring to give another blood? Jesus shed his blood on the cross of Calvary. I'm pleading with you right now to give your life to Jesus. Tomorrow will be too late. Tomorrow will be too late. Why choose to get destroyed when the Lord has offered you safety and salvation? My people, if you want to give your life to Jesus, now is the time to step forward. Don't ever be shy. Come forward. Come forward. God bless you. Yes, my sister, I can see you standing. Don't hesitate My brother, if you want to come, please come. Don't think about the person sitting beside you. It is you and the Lord. It is you and the Lord. Identify with the Lord. Jesus is waiting. Don't let anything hold you down. Don't be shy. Jesus said, if you are shy and you deny me here on earth, I will also deny you before my Father. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. I know I believe you died for my sins. You shed your blood for me on the cross of Calvary. Speak to the Lord. Speak to the Lord. Yes, go ahead. Every sin you can recollect, please just mention it right away. Mention your sins as many as you can remember. Repeat after me, Lord Jesus. I know I am a sinner. And I know you died for my sins. You shed your blood on the cross of Calvary to wash away my sins. Lord, receive me as your own. Make me your child from today. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord, to know you and to love you. Give me the peace that is beyond human comprehension. Go ahead, talk to the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want to pray for you right now. Father, in Jesus' name. Baba, me, I want to thank you for these wonderful children of God that you have brought to yourself.
Come. The food is ready, ma. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, my dad, you shame. Ah, what is so? Says, says, oh. Take your food. Thank you. Mr. Ma, come here. Why always give me this kind of meat now? Look at this one. Now, small meat you put inside this one again. Yeah, bring it up, bring it up. See, this is what I have for you. Whether you like it or not, I'm less concerned. Take it or leave it. <laughs> Mr. Man, come, 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 come. See, I'm your boss inside this house. You know, you say, I firstly entered this company before you. Ah, well done. It's a big issue. I got to wait for you. But ethic. Wow. I do need, I do need my daughter. What have I done wrong? Kilo Shaduni. Honey. Honey. Please wake up. We have to talk. I thought you would never ask. I thought you wanted to deal with your worries alone. So you know what all this is all about? When a woman decides to form the habit of seeing fake prophets, unfounded suspicions are the results. So, you don't believe my mom is behind my childlessness? Right? Not until you give me a proof. Wale, desperate situations calls for desperate measures. I don't think you should blame me for taking any step in order to have a child in life. And that includes labeling your own mother a witch? You, you, you just have to understand. Oh, no. I think we've had enough of this discussion. I don't want to talk about this anymore and not at any other time. Excuse me. Wale. Wale.
Jesus. What's that? Jesus. What's that? Uh. Ah. <laughs> Money is three thousand five hundred. Please do come again. Mr. and Mrs. Ijilewa, I am happy to see you in my office this morning. Um, and I want to tell you that uh, the Saivaka sacrilege that we have done has been a success, as it is evident in what uh, you can feel and you can see. And then um, I want to assure you that uh, this one that you had will never be like those ones you've had in the past. This pregnancy, do I'm not God though. No, we are doctors. We just uh, try, it's only God that makes things a reality. But I'm assuring you that this one, 98% assurance that this thing is going to be so that this pregnancy will never come down again. So that is what I want to assure you. Your money is twenty-five thousand. Thank you. Please go and pack it. And Madam, uh, as I've been telling you from time to time, that uh, you should always keep your body calm. Don't be too anxious. Now you've seen it, and I'm assuring you that God Almighty has done it, and this one will never come down again. But uh, these medical things are given to you. Make sure you follow them from time to time. Don't stress up yourself. Always relax eat food, and then uh, make sure you rest. And, sir, ensure that you make madame happy always. You know, when women are pregnant like this, 
they need us by you know their sides. So I want to say a big congratulations to you, sir. Thank you. And madam, congratulations. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. Wish you the best. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, madam. You're welcome. Yes, ma. Thank you very much. Three thousand naira. What is the problem, ma? Did I complain anything to you? Please mind your business. I hope all is well. That's giving you money has traded their profits. Everyone that has given you this money has traded their reward with whatever they bought in your shop. The fruit of their labor for the next six months shall be yours. You are a worthy member of Brotherhood of Cowry. But remember, and the time you see the sign of the cross. In the hand of whom that give you money, such money must not be put in the bank where there is gouging. Because their destiny is secure 
with the blood of covenants of the living sacrifice on the sound. Okay. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Brother Olu, Sister Biola, how are you? Ah, Pastor. Um, can I see you guys for a moment? Please come up, come up. God bless you. You guys are looking radiant. And how is everything? Fine, God bless you. Bro Lou and Sister Biola, thank God for your lives. I really bless God for the lives of the two of you. And uh, Sister Biola, I thank God for you that uh, ever since your salvation, you have been consistent in the faith. And that's the testimony you should maintain. And the two of you, you have been a great encouragement to the younger brethren in the church. And you should keep that up. I have prayed about this relationship. And I'm also encouraged by the report of the marriage committee. Very, very fantastic report. And that is how it should be. However, I should warn you about immorality. You should do everything possible to maintain your purity in the Lord. Hebrews 13 verse 4 says marriage is honorable in all and the bed should be undefiled. War mongers and adulterers, God will judge. So you must do everything possible to maintain the purity in this union. Don't let the devil destroy your testimony on the platform of immorality. All right. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Mm -hmm. uh, which way are you heading? Um, I'm heading for a pastor's meeting. I don't know where you're going, if I can drop you off on the way. Just, or did yes. you drive? <laughs> All right, let's, let's just... Thank God you, bless sir. You. Mm. Bye. 
But how long are you going to continue like this? <laughs> and what was there in my miserable life to cheer me up? I've just lost the seventh pregnancy. You don't know how it feels. I may not know. But there is someone I know who knows. Speaking of him, Hebrews 4.15 says, For we do not have a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity, but was at all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. The only problem is that you have refused his lordship and his priesthood. Excuse me. I hope you are not trying to preach to me this afternoon. If God so much cares, why can't he stop my mother from afflicting me? Why? If he's so powerful, why will he allow darkness to continue to prevail over light? I've just told you how many prophets we have visited and they keep prophesying and predicting and with, without any results. Yet you are standing here preaching to me. As you see, your anger is grossly misplaced. God is not responsible for your pains and losses. And who is responsible? You, my friend, you are responsible. Let me ask you a question. Can the child of a stranger enjoy the same benefits from a man as his own children? Mm. It's not possible. You truly come to church, but your manners and your words are those of a stranger, the enemies of light. You know, I know many things about you that are hidden from other brethren. You know that. Yes. Yes. Why can't you allow Jesus to help you, to help you follow? Please, help you right to the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the right thing. Please, please. Relax, relax, you are going nowhere because there is a blood covenant between us. You cannot go free except you present another blood for exchange. Terrifying. Honestly. And it said, Unless I give another blood the next thing for mine, I can't be free. I don't know why my mom is just bent on destroying my life. Honestly, I'm scared. I can't stay in that house alone. I can't. 
Did you say that image mentioned that only the blood can free you? Yes. Whose blood will I give? You can imagine that. Is it my husband's? Oh, I just don't understand. Blood is available, but you cannot have access to it. How do you mean? And whose blood are you referring to? You see, no demon would dare ask a bona fide child of God such a price that he may demanded from you. Because every demon knows that we have enough blood to offer without killing to acquire it. The Bible talks about the blood of Jesus, which speaketh better things than the blood of Abel in Hebrews 12, 24. If you had offered that blood to that image when he asked for it immediately, it would have sufficed. Oh. And your long time problem and blindness would have come to an end immediately. So, you mean all I should have done was to shout, blood of Jesus? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh. Shouting the blood of Jesus alone is not enough. But you, accepting Jesus into your heart, then that blood will work for you. So, all I should have done? That is it. Please, I beg you, give your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. Allow that blood that is shed on the cross of Calvary to wash away the sin. Let Jesus shed his blood for you and is calling you. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. May Jesus give you rest from all this problem. He's calling you. He said, my daughter, come. Come, give your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. Allow him in now. And tomorrow may be too late. He died for you. He's waiting for you. He's a merciful God. Hell is terrible. Do you want to accept him into your heart now? Do you? Do you? Do you? Yes! 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 This is the time I've been waiting for. Praise God. Jesus. Now repeat after me. Say, my Lord Jesus. My Lord Jesus. I thank you because you died for me. I thank you because you died for me. I call upon you now. I call upon you. Come into my heart. Just my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. And write my name in the book of life. And write my name in the book of life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. You see? You are now a bona fide child of God. No demon can have a harass you again. Oh, I thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, thank you. yes, yes. So this is my mom. Wow. Like mother, like daughter. Thank you. So this um so this mean uh well done, sir. Well done, Ma. Thank you. Thank you. Are your parents, you're welcome. Thank you. I've heard a lot about you, <laughs> and I'm glad that finally I'm meeting the man that won the golden heart of my daughter. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you some questions. Do you truly want to marry my daughter? Yes, I do. 
To what extent are you willing to go to marry her? That unsettles you. <sighs> Young man, don't mind me. That's my own way of finding out how strong your love is for her. You're welcome. Thank you. You are now my son. So feel free. Feel at home. Bele. Ha. <sighs> I was afraid. Me too. I thought she wanted to say something again. It was as if the ground should open and swallow ah. you. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. My priest, there is fire on the mountain. Yes. I've seen it all. But don't be afraid. But the young man seems to bear the mark you have been wanting us to run away from. Yes, I know. I truly warned you about the marks. But I did not ask you to run away like a coward. When they come to you in their own toys, don't be afraid. Tonight, he shall receive a visitor. That's a visitor. Yes, my priest. What was it you said you wanted to discuss with me? Nothing much, but it is important. It all happened the day I came to meet your mom. That night, someone like a shadow visited me in my sleep. He warned me I should keep away from you because you are their property, their prey. It was so real that when I woke up from my sleep, I couldn't sleep again. I have to take the whole night to pray. Sister Biola, what is wrong? Why did you suddenly change your mood? So, what exactly have you brought me here to tell me? What? Do you mean you don't hear what I have? relating with you or it's not important I asked the question because what you told me is very important what is your conclusion is this the end of our relationship end of our relationship why would you think of such a thing because Others before you left, claiming to see something strange. All I can tell you is that 
I'm not in a real covenant with anybody. But if you feel it's safer for you to leave the relationship, it's okay. I understand. I understand. Sister Biola, you amaze me. Others before me were not Christian. They were right to break away from you because they lacked the power to dare the kingdom of darkness. I'm a child of God. No power there touches me as long as I'm connected to Jesus. Sister Viola, look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. I have not brought you here to break up the relationship between us. Only come so that we can discuss on how to fight the battle together. <sighs> it is so obvious that powers of darkness are trying all they could to ensure you remain single throughout your entire life. So, what do we do now? We need to pray. We pray individually. We pray together. We also... Wait a minute. I've not been seeing you pray in tongues. I thought since I'm born again, it's okay. And I also believe that it's meant for pastors. Ha, Sister Viola, this is why you lack fire. And the devil is taking the advantage to oppress you. The Bible says in Matthew 16, 17, it talks about child of God, born again, speaking in new tongues. It is your right as a child of God to pray in tongues and also in spirit. Even the devil is confused. So what next? Yeah. I need to discuss with Pastor. First, you need to receive the power. Okay. And serious prayer of deliverance. Okay. Okay. Give me that smile. Can you at least clean your face and eat your food now? Okay. Thank you. Honestly, honey, I really think you are taking this thing too far. And very soon, if you continue like this, you will have no life of your own. <laughs> I gave out my life to Christ already. I no longer have it. Nonsense.
Holy Ghost fire. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. Yes. All things that pass away, be all other things that become new. That every link of any spirit of any ancestral spirit that is linked to this sister, we break it out now. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Link of any spiritual spirit, ancestral spirit, any kind of demonic spirit that is linked with this your daughter. Father, we destroy it right now. Because if any man becomes any creature, all things are passed away. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now we're going to call down the fire of the Holy Spirit to come down upon the sister and destroy everything that is not of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost! Fire! 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Hold your hands together. That right now, that God should fill this temple with his Holy Spirit. There is no vacuum in the spiritual realm. Go ahead and pray. Father, we call the Holy Spirit of God. So feel this temple right now. Feel this temple right now. Malepo kosori koshende kete. Ropo kete eli a ropo koshende. Mamebo kosoto kole le brodo koshende. Raga gaso kole le brodo. Ropo koshende le brodo. Makaya karebo soye. In Jesus' name we pray. in the name of Jesus. I say back to center in the name of Jesus. Ah, in the name of Jesus, every plan of the enemy concerning my life, concerning my marital life, concerning my success in this world. Father Lord, I engage the forces of your blood against every negative voice that is speaking over my life, that is speaking over this family. Lord, I engage the power in the blood of Jesus. I ask that the power in the blood of Jesus uh, silence every negative voice against my child bear. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord and God, your word says in Isaiah 49, verse 25, Lord, that even the captives of the mighty, I come against them in the name of Jesus. They will not prosper. The plan of the enemy will not prosper upon my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Master Keterebo, Ripa Papa Papa Papa, Yegele Momo Sokotoro Bobo, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, he disappointed the devices of the crafty and their hands so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. In the name of Jesus, you will not be able to perform your enterprise concerning my life. Your hand will not perform your enterprise concerning my life. My marital life is a success already. In the name of Jesus, I will get married. Like my mess, I will have children. I will make it. My children shall be successful. They will call me a mother. They will call.
call me a wife in the name of Jesus. I will have one fight in the name of Jesus. I step back to center. Your enterprise will not be able to be performed upon my life. Lord, you said, even the prayer of the captive, oh God, shall be set free. Lord, arise, oh God, and arrest every force of darkness that is working against us in this home. In the mighty name of Jesus, your word says, you will contend with all my contenders and you will save my children lord arise lord arise lord arise lord arise lord arise save my children lord save my children in the mighty name of jesus let your word of god come to pass in my life Hello, Sister Vera. Yeah, how's all been today? Well, I had a great time at work today. In fact, I have a testimony I would like to share with you when we meet in church in the evening. Oh, that's nice. I can't wait to hear the testimony. <laughs> anyway, let's hear why you call. I can tell by the sound of your voice that uh, you don't just call to say hi. Hope all is well. All is well in Jesus' name. It's just that I had a scary dream. All right, all right, all right. We'll talk about that when we'll see in church in the evening. All right. It's all right. Okay. In the evening then. Stringly. Stop, you have to stop it. Mommy, we need prayers in this house. Though. Apparently, there are forces contending against us. In fact, you are that force. You are that force. That is the stopping this house right now. How can that be? Viola, you have to stop this. Yes, you will see another side of me that you have never seen. You will see it. Stop it. Don't collapse the building on me. Understood? Mommy. Mommy. What? 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 Why is mommy behaving like this? What's wrong?
to God, Father, your mouth says, the heart of the kings and his armies, men are your hands, and you direct them like the path of water to where you will. Lord Jesus, I commit the hearts of my husband into your hands, O God. That is the of his heart. In the book of Job, chapter 5, verse 19, he shall deliver me six troubles. Yea, he said, I shall not even touch me. In famine, he shall redeem me from death, and in war, from the power of the sword. I shall be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall I be afraid of destruction when it come In the name of Jesus, Lord, we deliver me these troubles. Every trouble concerning my marriage, concerning my marital life, I'm delivered today. You are the only God, the God of the whole heart. Father, you are the heart of everyone in your hands, the one that you can do. Let Wally see your light, O God. Let him see the. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The book of Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 24 says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the Lord captive delivered? But thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee. And I will save thy children. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm delivered today. I'm delivered today. I'm set free. In the name of Jesus. I am set free. By the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb. I am set free. In the name of Jesus. was not deliberate. I was lured to brotherhood by wife. They requested for the destiny of my only child. <laughs> when they threatened that the entire family will be destroyed, that's why I obliged. And ever since then, I've been living in bitterness of heart. My dear, please forgive me. Forgive. 
Pastor. Thank you. Ah, your Jesus is powerful. If not, I should have been dead by now. Because there is no forgiveness in brotherhood. The yoke of brotherhood in your life is broken now. But your freedom is not yet guaranteed. And you will soon understand why. Braolu. Yes, sir. Please open to Matthew chapter 12. Read from verse 43 to 45. Mama, I would like you to please listen. Yes, Matthew 12, 43. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. Then he said, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he's come, he findeth it empty, swept and garnished. 12.45 When goeth he, and taketh with him, with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be yes. also unto this wicked generation. That is why I'm appealing to you today to come and accept Jesus into your heart. Let him be your Lord and personal Savior. Submit and yield yourself to him. The Lord is merciful. Mama, are you ready to give your life to Jesus? Pastor, I am ready. I am ready. My dear sister Bella, it is well with you. You need to forgive your mother. Hmm? The Lord who delivered and set you free. We also set Mama free as she has agreed to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. Mama, say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come to you today. I come to you. Great and mighty. Great and mighty, mighty is the Lord. Great and mighty, great and mighty, mighty is the Lord. Great and mighty, willing to save Mighty is the Lord. Of your blood against every negative voice that is speaking over my life. Not again. I can't take it any longer. I've had enough of this. Only please, I'm begging you. For this is all for our own good. Good? There's nothing yeah. good in this. Must you go to church every time? Oh when are you going to have time to rest? But I can't just sit down and lose this pregnancy again. Exactly. Losing this pregnancy is what I care about. You can't afford to lose this pregnancy again. Listen to me. I am going to do the going to church. And so long as I go to church, that should suffice for the two of us. Until you have this baby safely. I don't want to see you in that church or in any other church again for that matter. Only please. It's like you don't understand. Understand what? Please. I'm... Excuse me. I don't want to hear anything about church again in this house. This discussion is over. Don't bring it up again.
Just stay with them. Yes, Edda. What about the uh, meter I talked about? Thank you, sir. We, we have really invited him and we are sure that you really like him, sir. Because he uh, really speak well, sir. Uh, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Uh, from our uh, judgment, sir, uh, we find out that uh, this man of God will be the, uh, the most suitable person to be able to uh, minister in this uh, program, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, the whole church will enjoy him and they will, they will all be blessed, sir. Yes, sir. In fact, sir, he speaks exactly like you, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> really? Yes, sir. That's interesting. But, you know, we can't just bring anybody to our pupils. Anyway, I, I trust your judgment, my head has. It's okay. Yes, sir. You will see that your trust is not misplaced, sir. Mm. Uh, is that right? Uh, <coughs> what did you say his name is? Uh, it's uh, Pastor Joshua Bilu, sir. Joshua Bilu, sir. Yes, sir. Joshua Bilu. Yes, sir. Joshua Bilu. That name rings. That name rings. Rings bells. Okay. It's all right. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, speak with him. Uh, uh, let him give us his stamps. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, that is another good thing about this pastor. He will receive whatever amount of money we give to him after the administration, sir. In fact, sir, I also know about him, sir, that sometimes he may even uh, uh, not uh, desiring to collect anything, sir. Yes, he may sir. even return our honorarium, sir. Ah, uh -uh. ah, uh ah. -uh. Up to that? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's interesting. I think I'm beginning to like this man. If you have not met him, okay, let me allow you both to complete the arrangement with him. That's okay. Yes, sir. It's all right. Yes, sir. Pray, pray for us, sir. Promise, sir. Wow, celebrity. Amen. You will be that. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.
What happened? <laughs> honey, honey. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> honey. Look at me. Talk to me. Oh my God. You can't just continue crying. Please. Please talk to me. Oh my God. Honey. <laughs> Like this was when we lost oh. the other pregnancy. But now the pregnancy is intact. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Talk to yeah. me. Yeah. Ah. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Please. Please. Call your pastor. I should call the pastor. Yeah. Yeah. Can't just wait till they break. I can't feel my legs. Eh? You can't feel what? Eh? Eh? Kate! 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 Oh, Kate! Kate! Get me my phone. Get me my phone. Get me my phone. Get me my phone. No! 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 What happened to your leg? What happened to your leg? I can't feel my oh legs. My God. No. no. Hey! Get! Get! Oh. Ah. Oh. My legs. My legs. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Bro Wale, Sister Agnes, I have with me here Pastor Kalejaye. Alright, he's a special friend of my family and he's a minister of God. When your call came in, we were together having a special retreat in my home. So I ask him to accompany me here. All right, so feel free. Um, Rowali, your wife has told me everything that happened early hours of this morning. And I want to assure you that the Lord Jesus is willing to save your soul. The Bible says in Matthew 11:28, it says, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. The Lord said, He will give you rest, Rowali. Rest for your soul. Rest, Pastor. I don't think I can have rest. I'm not even sure I deserve it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wale, why are you saying this? Jesus is ready to save even the worst sinner. So why won't he save you? Brother Wale. Pastor, I am not even a brother. Uh -uh. Some years back, we had two major problems in our home. One, we had no child. And secondly, Pastor, I wanted wealth desperately. After several attempts, I left my wife to grapple with the problem of childlessness while I went in search of wealth. I went to herbalist. I went to ritualist. They all gave me the same condition. Blood of human being, a sacrifice for money. I didn't give in to this, but I was still in search until I was introduced to the Brotherhood of the Cowries. Brotherhood of the Cowries. Their condition appeared mild too. They only wanted the fetus from my wife's womb. Hmm. Hmm. The moment I joined the Brotherhood of the Cowries, my wife started to get pregnant. And each time she was pregnant, 
the messenger of the cowries will bring the jar of cowries and place on my wife's tummy. Mm. And the fetus in her will be evacuated and she had miscarriage. Hey! Oh. Wale! Wale! You did this? Hmm. Oh, you told me. You said an old schoolmate of yours gave you a favor, but contrast. You never told me you joined the court. Oh. It was all lies. There was no federal government contract anywhere. All the money had been from the brotherhood of the cowries. Huh? Pastor. Many ministers of God, they have collected blood money to do the work of God, including me. No wonder the Bible says, who is blind but my servant? Jesus. Ah. You made me go through all this. Ah, well, Mommy, you're I'm, wicked. I'm sorry. You're wicked. Ah. I'm sorry. Oh my God. I thought it was going to be a once and for all event. Ah. I, I never knew they would take it every time you had oh pregnancies. Oh. Each time we lost any pregnancy. I felt regret, even more than the loss of the fetus. I never liked it, but it was too late to back out. When I learned of this last one, the messenger of the cowries came as usual. But my wife's recent resolve to give her life truly to Jesus as we have always preached, Pastor, has given her power beyond my dreams. When the messenger of the cowries could not succeed, I knew my life was in danger. I now resolved to make a personal attempt on the pregnancy. Place the glass jar of cowries on my wife's tummy the first time, and I was resisted by a force too strong for me to withstand. I tried the second time, the same force resisted me. When I tried the third time, the glass jar disappeared from my hands. Lightning struck my legs. I fell, and all I could do was to crawl out of the room in order not to attract my wife's attention. I actually sent for you that you help me plead with my wife. Maybe she will be able to forgive me. 
As for me, I have retired to faith because I know very well that once the brotherhood was unable to claim the fetus, it's my life in exchange. The moment the child is born, Pastor, just help me plead with my wife. No, Brother Wale. No, that will not happen. Not when the Lord is still very much alive and is ready to save your soul. The Bible says in Isaiah 49 verse 25 that the prayer of the mighty shall be delivered and the lawful captive shall be set free. Come to Jesus. You don't have to die. The Lord is willing to save your soul, Rawali. Even though you might have lost your leg, for must your soul go to hell? It's never late. Rawali, Jesus is at the door of your heart. Don't harden it. Me? Can Jesus still save me? Yes! Yes! Come to him! Pastor, please help me. I already lost my legs. I don't want to lose my soul. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor, please let's lead him to Jesus. The Lord is waiting for you. Sister Agnes, I know this can be very painful. It is best imagined than experienced. But you have to forgive your husband. He has been a captive for a long time. But now that he's willing to surrender his life, let's lead him to Jesus together. Pastor, let's lead this man to Jesus. Let's pray. of his congregation. Uh, yes, no problem. The Lord has told uh, me this will happen. Listen to me, man of God. Are you truly a servant of God? Speak up! Uh, uh, I will speak. Please help me. Help me. This torture is too much. The earlier you confess, the better for you. The Bible says, those that covers their sin, they will not prosper. Speak up! Uh, I, I was not called by God. Jesus. Oh. I called myself. Oh. I chose it as a profession. <laughs> Means to survive. Oh. To make words. <laughs> and to make a name for myself. Uh, uh. How then were you able to succeed for so long? How were you able to know 
the past of the people and to foretell their future. Speak up! That's my secret. So I can tell you that. Ah. Ah, please help me. Listen, your doom is imminent. If you confess and forsake your sins, mercy can save you. Ah. Speak up. I'm a member of the Brotherhood of Kauri. Ah. 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 Hey. Ah. Hey. A secret God that specializes in making me rich through rituals. Speak up. Uh, uh, speak up. Uh, uh, I was actually born and raised at the lorry. I came to Ibadahe when I observed the way that when people trooped to those churches, we have pastors preach false doctrine and fallacy. And because people want to hear what they prefer to hear, they want to hear lies, they want to hear the opposite of the truth. And that is why I made myself a prophet. Nobody ordained me. Ah. Uh, what evil have you done against God and against these people and all the members of your congregation? Speak up! Uh, 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 don't kill me by saying. I was not talking about that. Uh, Man, uh, listen. It is the one who holds the power of death and life that asks you to confess. As for these people that you are afraid of, they too are vulnerable to death. Speak in Jesus' name. Uh, 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 uh. That is a, a room. In this guest house, everybody believes it's my prayer room. It is actually my strength. Ah, Jesus! Jesus! Ah, ah. Whenever anyone of, of the church or from other congregations comes visiting, I make sure their names are written on the archive. And those packages are kept in a box inside that oh, room. Whenever I want their life to be free, whenever I want them to enjoy themselves, whenever I want life to be easy for them, those packages are allowed to remain dry and kept inside the box. Oh, bro! Whenever I want to make life difficult for them, whenever I want more troubles in their life, whenever I need to make life difficult for them, so that they can run back to me, their powerful prophet, all I need to do is to soak those handkerchiefs inside the water. Prophet! <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, um, uh, uh, do you know the room in question? Uh, 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 Please, follow him to uh, the room. Uh, Make sure that you bring the box. Uh, Immediately, uh, go. Go uh, uh, In the uh, Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh,
We'll pray with him right here. And the Lord will glorify himself. Yeah, you can go back to your But Wally, this is well with you. You've given your life to Jesus. This prayer is just to help your health. And I trust the Lord to do that which is glorious for you. Sister, it is well. Pastor, please let's pray for this man. Let the power of the Lord come down. Amen. Let the fire of the Lord come down. You fools! Do you think you can hijack him from a hand just like that? You are joking. His wife's tears is yet with Jerry. With that, you cannot escape. Then you will know there are no fabrics. Tears with fire and survive. Destroy every altar that is holding on to his health, to his life. Every link will destroy. If any man be in Christ, the Bible says the new creature. All things that pass away, all things behold that become new. That we decree and declare that every contrary and right thing that were written against his own. Father, that God will take them out of the way as written in his word. And he will nail them to his cross. And destroy everything. Mighty Jesus! In the name of Jesus. For the Bible says, the yoke shall be destroyed by the reason of the anointing. By the anointing of God. By the anointing and the power of God come yes. Father upon me. I set you free in the name of Jesus. Hey, amen. Father, we pray, Mamesho Kotayali Ara Prodogosida, Yedrege Gura Gazanda Yalia Mapeto Edibo, Ekte Kekelibro Gosoto Yalia Prodogosida, Lele Kegede, you are the miracle working God. Now, listen, man, Amen. Amen. you two have the opportunity to surrender your life to Jesus. I told you, I It's a pity. It's a pity. You had it, your heart. Oh my God. Papa. Oh my God. Mercy can speak for you. Surrender your life to Jesus. Messi can speak for you! Prophet! My secret is open.
سارس چبی بنی او را نفت آرگاز Stop.